Hi, David Taub here, coming to you from nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is well. What's up, good people? And today I want to talk to you a little bit about picking. And I have a couple of tips for you. I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, uh, holding the pick and about uh, technique with the pick. And I want to show you a couple of things, two basically things that um, really make a difference with your picking. One has to do with the motion of the wrist and the other one is how you hold the pick in relation to the strings. Those are two things that I find students um, are challenged with or can really improve their picking if they work on these two things. Very critical. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to wheel in up close and I'm going to show you with a real tight shot uh, these techniques. Here I am on a tight shot, on the, uh, a tighter shot on the uh, on the, uh, neck of the guitar. And one of the things about picking that you want to keep in mind is the motion is really all in the wrist. Okay, this is the motion that you want to get good at. I'll just pick like um, I'm holding like a, uh, a C note on the G string at the um, fifth fret, and I'll start slow. And if you notice my wrist position. If you see my arm is not moving at all, and as I move strings, you see that picking really is all, all in the wrist, and that motion is very economized, and that's what you want to get good at. Now strumming, different. Strumming using the arm and the shoulder more. But picking is all here. It's all in the motion in the wrist here. So that's what you want to really practice and get good at. And start just with the open strings, slow. Here I'm picking the open D. Here's the open A. Now I'm alternate picking too. All Alternate picking is going to take you the furthest to fastest right now. So use all alternate picking and just go on the open strings. Wrist motion. That's what you want to get good at. And if you watch videos of the best pickers, guy like uh, Al Di Miola, I think he's one of the best and one of my favorites. Watch his wrist. You will never see him move out of that wrist position. Okay, so practice that on the open strings and then practice that with your finger exercises. The other thing that you want to do with the pick, remember, wrist motion and all alternate picking at first, up and down, and just practice on that open strings, all right? Now, the other thing you want to do is the relationship to where the string is hitting the pick, okay? Um, I like to angle the pick slightly to the strings, okay? And you'll find that that's going to cut through the strings better and give you more uh, uh, control and the, the pick won't get hung up because it's less friction. Now you don't want to take the pick vertically because then you're not going to get, the, that's going to cut too much of the tone out. But I'm talking about maybe a slight 45 degree angle up or down. If this is the string, just to give you a close look, instead of picking with your pick dead on like this, I'm talking about angling the pick to the string. So it's kind of slicing through. Now you could angle it this way or this way. Okay, either way, but I'm talking having that maybe 45 degree angle, not straight on, but angle the pick to the string and you will see that really cuts through. Now if I take you up real close, let me see if you can see this. Um, I'm going to pull back on the picture so you can see. Now you see I'm not going to take the pick and go straight on the strings because it's get hung up. I take it and I angle it. Now I like to angle it this way. Some of my students like to angle it this way, and that's fine, but try this. You're really going to see a huge difference. Take that pick, angle it to the strings, not at a, at a, at a 90, because then you're not going to hear the note ring out as well. Just take it and slight angle, and it's going to cut through. And the other thing is when you're trying to pick fast, choke down a bit more. I tend to choke down on the pick when I'm playing a lot of faster, scalar, single note stuff, and then I pull back on the pick, you know, like maybe here when I'm strumming. So choke down a little bit more and here's a really good, I'm going to pull back on the picture so you can see this. Not straight on. See, because I can't even do it really, really fast straight on because after a while I get hung up with the friction. But if I try to do it and angle the pick, see the wrist motion? 
That's what you want to concentrate on. So angle that pick to the strings and all up down, all alternate picking and real economy wise with the wrist movement. Try those things. I think they are really going to help you. And uh, visit our website, nextlevelguitar.com, to study this more in depth. We have lessons on picking finger exercises because you want to incorporate finger exercises into your practice regimen. We have all kinds at our website. Thanks, super, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next lesson. I'm David Taub. Rock on!